try to go live every single Saturday so that I can answer some of your questions and can have a general discussion about what's happening in the tech world and what's going, similar stuff like that. So I'll wait for a few minutes so that YouTube probably can send some of the notifications. Sometimes YouTube doesn't send notification. So make sure you remember that uh, this is Saturday. So Anirudh is here. Hello, Anirudh, how is it going on? I hope spend time while writing assignment. Ah, assignments are still on from colleges. Aren't they wasting enough of your time in colleges that they don't even want you to learn during this quarantine time? Uh, hello, Rahul, how's it going on? So I can see YouTube probably didn't send notification today, but ask Ashri Sonali, Sonali, sorry, my bad. Uh, how, hello, sir, how are you? I'm doing absolutely good. And it would say it's no notification. YouTube doesn't send notification. And especially when the servers are actually overloaded, uh, YouTube sometimes uh, just does this kind of a stuff. It will increase. And it's not really about the numbers. Uh, Ashik S. Nair says, online assignment daily. Oh, that's injustice. That's injustice. Shouldn't be that. Shouldn't be like that. Uh, college should at least give you uh, this much of the time. Hey, just learn whatever you like to learn. Hey, bro, uh, Flutter right now, Prince Thakur. OK, looks like we are live again. But again, uh, I don't think that I have no idea how much, for how long I'll be able to keep this live up and running. Although topic or theme of these lives, I just answer your questions. If you have any, if you don't have any, then it's OK, then it's fine. I, this, is, this live is more, mainly about answering your question and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, full easy. Yeah, I have recently started a project, and I am busy a bit on that. Just buy the Django course; it's amazing. Thank you so much. Roadmap for web developer for beginner. Yeah, that I can discuss. Uh, a kind of a roadmap for web developers. Now there are definitely two paths that you can pick up as a web developer. The first one is the back end. First, and another one is the front end. If you want to go with the front-end path, then definitely you should try my front-end developer course. Otherwise, in case you don't want to buy any course or something, learn on your own. Then first, uh, brush up your skills on HTML and CSS and build at least five projects with that. Core HTML and CSS, nothing else. Then the next thing would be to learn JavaScript and then stick to something uh, like Bootstrap or something and combine Bootstrap, JavaScript, HTML, and CSS and build at least five projects with that. And then you can learn some of the front-end frameworks or libraries like uh, React or Vue. That's your front-end part. On the back-end side, you can pick up your programming language, PHP, Python, JavaScript, a whole bunch of others as well, like Ruby and stuff. So yeah, you can go ahead and do that and can pick up whatever is going to be there. It's showing zero live and 17 likes. It's actually 202 uh, people watching live and only 38 likes so far. So make sure the number keeps on going up. A uh, very good opportunity for app developers. Yes, of normal, the hiring is going to be back. Uh, the talented are going to be getting a whole lot of opportunities. So it's a good time that you prepare yourself. <laughs> Modern Acrylic says, please call me. <laughs> what do you think? I am your Siri or your Alexa <laughs> that, you, <laughs> that I, I should call you? <laughs> hope I'm not late. No, you are not late. Spring Boot. I don't work on Spring Boot. I really want to learn Spring Boot in the upcoming few months or something. As of welcome. Uh, have you met Vimal Daga? A lot of time, a lot of time. Uh, many times, actually. He's from my city. So yes, I have met him. And he knows me as well. Uh, his domain is a bit different, and my domain is a bit different. But still, uh, we know each other very well. And uh, he has helped me a lot in learning a lot of things. And uh, I think he is also aware of me. I hope so. I'm not pretty sure if he still remembers me. JS2. So if you're just getting started with JavaScript, and then you are trying to learn React and Redux, it's going to take probably five or six months. Uh, that too, without course help, that if you want to learn everything on your own. By picking up any course, you can speed that up to probably a month or two months. But again, if you are a very basic beginner in JavaScript, it might take a little bit more. 
if you already have idea about programming and JavaScript stuff, it's going to be faster. But I think on an average, because you might want to learn something which is much more popular and much more in demand. So after that only, it makes sense. Uh, just like Vue.js and being totally dependent on, the, on that, I don't think it's a very wise decision to make. You might want to learn it as a side asset that stands you out a little bit among the React developers, but I won't be going for Vue directly and only for Vue as of now. Jaipur has more cases rise. Any comments? Yeah, Jaipur. A lot of uh, Thanos cases are increasing. Uh, YouTube actually uh, did demonetize my last video about the COVID situation as well. I shouldn't say that aloud because otherwise YouTube might do some stuff to my channel. I'll call it as Thanos. So yeah, the situation is pretty bad in Jaipur as of now. A lot of cases are uh, are here. Internet is, is lagging. It it might be lagging on your side because if it is lagging on my side, it gives me a notification. It was lagging in this in this uh, even this live. So I'll try to pick a few questions quickly. Will Golang be the future? Uh, at one point of thought that Golang is going to be the future because of the mo modules and the core routines. But if you noticed in the C++20, they have introduced the routines and the modules as well, which are utilizing the whole multi-threads and multi-core. And I think C++ is going to be back in game. C++ is already dominant on the situation where Golang wanted to become uh, a go-to language. But I think C++ updates have changed the game entirely and it has and it's it has become tough for me. Yeah, it's lagging. So yeah, if it is, it will lag too much, I'll I'll close this live. Don't worry. I will not keep you waiting up here for the lags. If it is gonna be lagging, let's see uh, for 10, 12 minutes more. If more people will complain that it's lagging and stuff, uh, I'll just I'll just keep it turn it off. No worries on that. Okay. How does the 2021 campus placement will affect due to the recession? I think by 2021, it's going to be all good and OK. Because if this situation is going to carry on till 2021, uh, it's not going to be much to do on the planet Earth. We all will be farmers and uh, will be enjoying the life out in the sun. So I think by 2021, it's not going to be any effect there. But yeah, sometimes I'm over optimistic. But that's, uh, that's the there. No lag, lagging. So both comments are just right above one each other. One says lagging, one says no lagging. And if it lags too much, just keep post, keep me posted that yeah, it's lagging. And tutorial on JavaScript engine execution context, global execution context, call stack creation phase, execution phase. Don't you think this is entirely a course itself <laughs> instead of about it, conference talk especially? But yes, uh, this context and global execution can be done in a couple of videos. OK, so OK, uh, lagging, lagging, lagging. So looks like it's lagging a lot, so stuck lagging, lagging. OK, so looks like it's lagging. And the super, your DSA course is amazing, superb quality. Thank you so much. And looks like it's lagging a lot. I think we need to close down this live because it's lagging a lot. And I don't really want to live uh, go on. So again, we're seeing lagging. Some are saying nothing. the user feedback is not good. But I think in this case, uh, I think we we cannot take much of OK, looks like it's lagging too much. And uh, just post me down if it is lagging and it is stuck. Should we close down this? Uh, entire live session, I think, yeah. Point, if you are not really uh, comfortable in watching it, then we can surely uh, What is best, Android, iOS, or React Native language? I think in India especially, uh, React Native solves a lot of business problems. And uh, the thing is that no big developer from Fang Company will anyway support things like React Native and Flutter because they bias towards the high-end systems and do they always stuck to languages like C++ only and for the Android Java only and for iOS, they stick still will say that Objective-C, no Swift. So the thing with the 
Uh, I don't think so. I'll, I'll gonna be restart. I'll just take two more minutes and 15 minute live is all good. And then we can just turn it off. Restart. There is no point of restarting because internet is same here. No matter how many times I restart, it's gonna be still there. Okay, it looks like it's lagging a lot. Logging. I think it's lagging. Insta Live. Uh, no, Insta Live probably will do it tomorrow. I'm not sure, but I think on on Sundays we can do Insta Live, and on Saturday we can do YouTube Live. Okay. Uh, a lot of you are saying uh, lagging. Uh, Jaya Lakshmi says lagging. Sort of saying uh, again. Jaya Lakshmi again. Santosh Kumar says lagging. Yeah, I think. I think we'll do this live. It's fine now. Can you post a video on WebSockets? I am planning to put up some more videos, but recently I've just posted 10 videos back to back on single day. So I think I'll take a break of a week and then I'll start posting again on some different topic videos. Uh, I'll combine those videos and we'll post up a single video as well because some people like that and stuff like that. It's proper, no lag, lag. If it lags, just post lag, lag, lagging, lagging, lagging stuff like that and i'll stop this live after that uh, we'll see this one more time lagging plus buffering sometimes uh, buffering is actually on your side lagging might be on my side okay so best website for competitive programming uh, the point is that most of these websites whether this is lead code or hacker rank they are almost having very similar uh, questions the point is you don't keep on choosing easy, easy, easy questions. Do less questions, take enough time. There is no hurry in doing in the beginning and try to have a variety of questions. Not a code part on the network. This might be lagging. It says your internet connection is unstable, trying to, uh, it, it's lagging a lot. Internet is still not good for all of, shortage everywhere <laughs> okay so looks like uh we need to stop this live because it's lagging a lot and i really don't want to suffer you over that probably you can do some better job if i'm not able to answer your question at least you can spend that time on learn code online can watch some of the videos even can download it using our mobile thumbs up and then we're going to be doing we are all done for the day it's uh, it's all done. So 152, I think we can reach it to 160. I think so. And then we'll be closing it all down Okay, for today's issue. Thank you so much. And uh, I really appreciate your time. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night, Ankit. Good night, Buddha. Oh, Alicia. I don't need to call you Buddha now. Alicia and uh, Shibonil. Bye-bye. And uh, take care. Good night.